What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a full body beginners Pilates workout. I'm going to link the warm up up in the cards from a couple of months ago. You can go ahead and start with that. If you don't want to do that, that's all right. We're going to hop right in. Um, I want you to just start by coming into a comfortable position on your mat. You can sit cross-legged. You can put your legs out in front of you, whatever you prefer, and then bring the hands right to the tops of your legs. We'll start by taking a nice deep inhale. You can lift the chest, fill the belly up with air, maybe lift the shoulders a little bit towards the ears. And once you can't get any more air in there, we'll take a big exhale, drop the shoulders down and back. Let all that air go. We'll do three more like that. Inhaling through the nose, filling everything up with air. We'll take a big exhale, drop the shoulders down and back. And two more. We'll inhale through the nose, fill everything up with air. Once you can't get any more air in there, we take a big exhale, let it all go. This will be our last one. And big exhale. Let it all go. With that final breath, I want you to put your legs all the way out in front of you. And I'm going to flip to the side. Um, your legs are going to be just about mat's distance apart and we'll flex the feet. I want you to reach your arms so they come right out in front of you. Reach the fingertips long towards whatever's right there in front of you. We'll take a big inhale, sit up nice and tall, find a little bit of length in your spine. On your exhale, I want you to draw the belly button in, round a little bit through the upper back. Think about pulling the shoulder blades apart as you reach the fingertips forward. Once you can't reach anymore, we'll take an inhale right there and then we'll take another big exhale, draw the belly button in, restack your spine in space so that you sit up nice and tall. We'll do a couple more like that, inhaling to find a little bit of length, exhaling to draw the belly button in, rounding through the upper back, reaching the fingertips forward. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, we take it right back up. Good, we'll do two more just like that, inhaling to sit up nice and tall, exhaling to draw everything up and in, rounding through the upper back just a little bit, drawing the shoulder blades apart. Just imagine I'm holding onto your fingertips and I'm pulling you forward. Gently, exhale, take it right back in. This should be our last one. If I counted right, big inhale. Exhale, we draw the belly button in, reach those fingertips forward. Think about drawing the shoulder blades apart. Good, we'll inhale at the bottom. Exhale, take it right back up. And once you come up through seated, we'll open the arms out into a T. From here, we'll take our saw. We'll inhale, rotate towards the right side of the room. Take the left hand, reach your left hand down towards the outside of the right foot as you flip the right palm back reach towards the outside of the foot. We'll take an exhale, come up through center, de-rotate, and then inhale to rotate over towards the left, reaching the right hand towards the outside of the left foot. We'll flip the left palm back, big reach. We'll exhale, pull through center. Good, next time you reach over towards the right, you're gonna reach for three. So we'll reach three, two, one. We'll exhale up through center, inhale over to the left. We'll reach for three, two, one, we'll exhale up through center. We'll do that two more times on each side, reaching to the right for three, two, one, exhale, and then inhale, we reach for three, two, one, exhale. Last ones, inhale, we reach over to the right, three, two, one, exhale, we take it up, inhale, we come to the left for three, two, one, exhale, we'll take everything up. Just take a second, drop your arms down and back. That shockingly gets into the shoulders kind of quickly. So take a little shake of the shoulders, take a deep breath. And then from here, I want you to bend your knees. So we plant the feet down onto our mat. We'll reach the arms out nice and long in front of us. Now, if you've done a beginner Pilates workout with me before, you have seen the rollback, I am confident. We'll inhale here, sit up nice and tall. You'll exhale, draw your belly button into your spine, start to roll back onto your hips. So you find a C curve in your spine. I only want you to roll back as far as you can keep your feet down on the mat. You'll take an inhale at your lowest point and then exhale, pull the belly button in, pull your hips to your ribs, start to lift yourself all the way back up and then come out of that C curve. So you sit up nice and tall on your inhale. Exhale, we draw the belly button in, we roll ourselves back, only going so low as we can keep the feet down on the mat. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, we tuck and roll right back up. We'll do three more just like that. Inhaling up at the top, exhaling to roll things back. Good, that's three, this is two. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. 
inhale at the bottom, exhale, we lift right back up. Once you come back up through center, legs go all the way out in front of you. Again, mats distance apart, we'll flex the feet. And now we'll take that full roll down. So reach your arms out in front of you, inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, we draw the belly button in, we start to roll ourselves back. I want you to think about rolling down inch by inch by inch by inch. Each little piece of the spine comes down one by one. Your head's the last thing to touch down. And once you get down there, we uh, reach the arms up overhead, take a big inhale. Exhale, we take the arms up above the shoulders. We'll tuck the chin into the chest. Now here comes the tricky part. Try not to use any momentum to get yourself up. So you have to push down into the backs of your hips, push into the backs of your heels. You'll get probably about to the mid back and then it gets a little bit tricky to not use momentum. So if you get here and you're like, I can't make it any further, it's okay. At that point, then use a little bit of momentum to get yourself up and then take a big forward fold reach over for the feet. Inhale, we'll sit up nice and tall. Exhale, we draw the belly button in. We start to roll back onto the hips, going down inch by inch by inch by inch. Good, head's the last thing to touch down. Once we get down there, arms come all the way up overhead. Big inhale. Exhale, we take the arms up above the shoulders. We tuck the chin to the chest. We'll draw the belly button in, push into the backs of the hips, push down through the backs of the heels, come all the way up through seated, and then big forward fold. Good. We'll do two more like that, inhaling to sit up nice and tall. Exhale, we draw everything in. The not so fun part about a roll down like this is that the leggings slide around a little bit on our mat. So if we get to the end of this and you realize you're like completely off your mat, it's not a big deal. I am too. Tuck your chin to your chest, draw the belly button in, push into your hips, push into your heels, bring yourself up and then big forward fold. This will be our last one. Inhale to sit up nice and tall. Exhale, we draw the belly button in. We roll back onto the hips. Good, inch by inch by inch by inch by inch. Head comes down, we reach the arms up overhead. Nice big inhale. And exhale, we take the arms up above the shoulders. We tuck the chin into the chest. We'll draw the belly button in, push into the hips, push into the heels, bring yourself all the way up, and then big forward fold. Good. Once we get all the way to the top there, I want you to bend the knees. We'll lay all the way down onto our mat. Head's gonna come down. And once we get down there, we'll keep our feet down on the mat about hips distance apart. You'll keep a little bend at your knees. And I want you to reach your arms so they come up above your shoulders. We'll take an exhale here. Inhale. And then exhale. We're gonna crunch up through the head, neck, and shoulders. I want you to push your hands so they come right outside of your hips. On your inhale, we'll lower everything right back down. Now try your best to follow um, the breathing cues that I give you. However, if we get into this and you're like, meh, makes so much more sense to inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down, you can do that, that's fine. As long as you're breathing, it doesn't really matter um, which way you do it. It doesn't really matter to me, but if you find a way that you prefer, go ahead and do that. I find for me, exhaling on the work or exhaling, um, you know, as you crunch up or as you get into a C-curve is most helpful for me to help me get into the low abs, but all of us are a little bit different. We'll do two more just like this. This is two. And this will be our last one. We'll lower things down. I want you to bring your head down, slide the hands down by your hips. We'll keep our feet down on the mat and now we'll take an inhale to prepare. We'll exhale, push into the heels. We tilt the hips up and under to lift up into a bridge. We'll pause at the top, take an inhale right there. And then we exhale, tuck the tailbone under, start to roll your hips back down all the way to the mat. So here our tailbone is the first thing to lift and it's the last thing to lower. I want you to move kind of at a glacial pace. So if it feels just slightly uncomfortable and slightly too slow, you're probably at just the right pace. We'll do three more like this, then we'll hold up at the top. This will be three. This is two. This will be our last one. Once you get up to the top, I want you to hold it there. Take a nice deep breath. Press the hands down, press the triceps down, press the backs of the shoulders down, and then give me little tiny pulses in your hips. Go one inch down and then come one inch back up. Really small, slow and controlled. Drive into your heels. That's just gonna give you the power to lift. And think about energetically pulling the heels into the glutes. So you feel a little bit of activity going on in the hamstrings. 
Sometimes all it takes is just thinking about the muscles working to get them to fire. We'll do three more pulses right here. This is gonna be three. This is two. And last one. We'll lower everything back down. Tailbone comes down and then just drop your knees from side to side. Okay, take a breath, reset. We're gonna do that one more time. Reset the feet, make sure they're about hips distance apart. When you're ready, you exhale, push into the heels. We tilt the hips up and under, press up into that bridge. Big inhale at the top. And we exhale, roll the hips right back down. You wanna think tuck and roll, like we're articulating through the whole spine. All that means is moving inch by inch. Just a fancy word. Sometimes I gotta throw them in just to make sure they're still rooted in my vocabulary. Good, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, we lift it right back up. We're gonna do this three more times and then once again, we'll hold it up at the top. So that was three. This is gonna be two. And this will be our last one. Once you get to the top, go ahead and hold it there. See if you can draw the belly button in a little bit more. And then check in with your backside body. We really only need to be up so high as um, where our sports bra strap hits on our back, right about at our T point, so like your mid back. So if you're up a little bit higher than that and you're feeling tension in the low back or you look like this and your chest is up towards your face, lower down a little bit. You don't have to be super high. Again, we're gonna take those little tiny pulses. So when you're ready, just start to pulse your hips one inch down and then take it one inch back up. See if you can push a little bit heavier into your heels. See if you can push a little bit heavier into the shoulders, back to the shoulders and the triceps. We'll take four more pulses. Four, this is three. We'll go for two. And last one, good. Go ahead and roll everything down. Drop the hips down. And then again, just rock your knees from side to side. Take a nice deep breath. Good. Okay. From here, we'll keep our head down on the mat. I want you to keep your right foot down on the mat. We'll come on to our left heel, lift the left toes. On an inhale, we'll extend through the left knee. I want you to slide your left heel out in front of you. Maybe you come all the way out to straight. Maybe you still have a little bend in the knee. Whatever you can do is fine. Well, exhale, drag the heel back in, pulling the heel into the glute, drawing your belly button into your spine. It's really subtle core work and it's gonna require a little bit of mind muscle connection, but that's okay, you can handle it. Good, we'll do three more like this. And last one. When your knee comes in, I want you to hold it there. Stay up on that left heel. Reach the arms so they come up over the chest. When our knee is bent, we're gonna lower the arms down to frame the right leg. We'll extend the knee, bring the arms back up, drop the arms up overhead, biceps by the ears. So exhale, we bend the knee, lower the arms, frame the left leg. Inhale, extend the knee, extend the arms up overhead. We'll keep moving like that. Now, if you feel good here and you wanna add in a little upper body crunch as you bring the arms down, as we slide the heel in, we'll crunch up through the head, neck, and shoulders. Frame the left leg like that, and then inhale, take it right back out. We'll do three more like that. Optional upper body crunch if you want it. That's three. This is two, nice slow pace. And this will be our last one. With that last one, once you bend the knee in, go ahead and bring the hands down by your sides, plant the left foot down. We'll do that same thing on the right side. Coming onto the right heel, lifting the right toes. We'll just start by inhaling, pushing the right leg forward. We'll exhale, drag the right heel across the ground, pull the heel towards the glute. Just so you feel like really subtle hamstring connection, but more we wanna think about pulling um, the bottom of the rib cage to the top of the hip. So we're pulling diagonally across the body to squeeze the leg back in. We'll do three more like this. Three. This is two. This is our last one. 
And once the knee comes in, go ahead and hold it there. Reach the arms up over the shoulders. We'll drop our hands down to frame the right leg, and then we'll take an inhale, push the heel back out, lift the arms up overhead, biceps by the ears. Exhale, take things right back in. Frame the right leg as we pull home. Again, optional upper body crunch. As you pull the knee in, you can tuck the chin to the chest, look down to the right leg as we frame the leg. Inhale, we'll take it right back out. And we'll just do three more like that. It's not a whole lot. It'll still feel like a lot, but you know, three is manageable. If I asked you to do 10, that would be crazy. This is gonna be two. And this will be our last one. Good, once we release that right leg, We'll take everything back in, drop the arms down and around. And now we're gonna extend the legs all the way out in front of us. We've kind of been working on um, some core stability. Now we're gonna get back into the hips a little bit. So they should be pretty warm from all the glute bridging that we did. Um, legs go out in front of you about hips distance apart. I want you to keep your left leg down. Now we're gonna work over on the right leg. I want you to take your right leg all the way up to 90, put a soft little bend in the right knee and then point your toes. Now from here, just check in with your hips. See how things are feeling. Did you feel like right away you tilted over into the left hip? Can you try and push the right hip down, push evenly into the backs of the hips and then keep the upper body down. From here, we'll start to draw some big circles. So I want you to take your right leg across your body over to the left. We'll go down, up and around on the right, and then back up through center. And we'll keep moving like this. As we move through these circles, I just want you to be mindful of what's happening in your hips. Take one rep where maybe you go too far and you feel your hips roll you all the way off of the mat. See how crazy that feels? And then on the next rep, try to rein it in. Make sure the right hip is reaching down towards the mat. We'll do one more circle in this direction. Then we start to bring it around the other way. And if you start to feel unsure of where your hips are in space, just bring your hands right to the tops of your hips so you feel the bony part, the ASIS points on your hips. We want to imagine that those bony parts are headlights and those headlights are shining forward up towards the ceiling. So if we tilt a little bit too far, the headlights are gonna go off to the right or off to the left. We're always fighting to find neutral. We'll do two more circles just like this. Two and one. And then we'll lower the right leg down before we head over to the left. I want you to take that right leg. We're gonna inhale, bend the knee, draw a little line across your mat. So we bend at the knee and pull the toe in towards the inside of the left knee. From here, we'll kick the leg up towards the ceiling and then we'll exhale, flex the foot close the leg down. So inhale, point the toe, kind of create the number four with the legs, kick it up, flex your foot, drag the heel down. We'll do that four more times. Four. This will be three. This is two. And last one. With that last one, you can keep the right leg down on the mat. We'll do that same thing now on the left side. So bring the left leg so it comes up above the hip, put a soft little bend into the knee, and we'll start to draw our circles. We'll take the left foot, I want you to cross the body so we come around to the right. We'll go down, around to the left, and then back up through center. Keep moving like that, and as we get into the side, things may feel um, just a little bit different. That's okay, it's very normal. Maybe you take one rep where you intentionally take it too far and just see how things kind of lift off of the mat. Try to veer away from that with every rep, reaching the left hip down to the mat. Good. Next time we come up around through center, we'll take the left leg out and around the other way, opening to the left, going down and around to the right, and then back up through center. Keep moving like that. Again, imagining we have two headlights at the front of our hips. They're staying shining up towards the ceiling as best we can. Finding stability in the hips is a challenging one, but I'm gonna get us there. We'll do two more just like this, two. And last one. And once you finish that last circle, we'll just take the left leg, lower it down. We'll inhale, point the toe, bend the knee. So we create the number four with the legs. Once you're there, you kick your leg up. We'll flex the foot, lower it down. Inhale, bend, kick, flex, lower. We'll do four more like that. Bend, 
kick. Flex, lower, three. This is two. And last one. That was a weird breath. Flex, lower. Go ahead and bring everything in. You can bend at the knees, bring the feet down, drop your knees from side to side. Take a deep breath. All right. Now from here, what we're gonna do is roll over so that we come onto our left side. So we'll roll onto that left hip. I want you to bend the left elbow, make a little pillow for your head with your bicep, and then tuck the knees in nice and close to you so you kind of come into a fetal position. From here, we'll stack the hips, stack the knees, stack the feet. Take your right hand, give yourself a little bit of a hug so you can make sure there's space in between you and your mat. And now from here, we'll take the right leg. I want you to lift the right leg so it comes up in line with your hip. We'll push the right leg so it comes out in line with our hip. And then I want you to point your toes. You're gonna inhale, kick your leg to me. You'll exhale, flex your foot, kick your leg back. So it comes right down in line with your hip. Inhale, point the toe, kick to me. Exhale, flex your foot, bring it back. We'll do that four more times. Four. This is gonna be three. This will be two. And last one. Once your leg is back down in line with your hip, you're gonna hold it right there. I want you to take an exhale, lift your leg up. Inhale, take it right back down. So you stop in line with the hip. We lift and we lower. It's not gonna be a huge lift because if we go too high, again, take one too high and see what happens in the rest of your body. See how the left side of your body collapses down into the mat and your hip starts to roll back to the mat and your leg is all the way up by your face. We don't want that, right? So it doesn't matter to me how high you can get your leg up. That is unimportant. Form is always the most important thing to me. It's really important that you keep your hips stacked on top of each other, that you really keep yourself in that working range of motion. And as you continue to practice Pilates, you're gonna get better and better at doing this stuff. We'll do three more right here, three, two and one good keep your leg right there right up in line with the hip now we're going to inhale bend your knee so you take your knee it comes right in line with your hip 90 degree bend we'll exhale to extend the knee push your foot out inhale we'll bend exhale we'll press keep moving like that i want you to send a lot of power out through your heel like you're trying to slide a heavy sofa across the ground We'll do four more like this. This will be four. Try to keep that right hip stacked. This is gonna be three. This is two. And last one. Good. With that last one, we can bend the right knee in. Give your right hip a little tap. Tell it did a good job. And from here, we're gonna roll over all the way down onto our belly. We'll find a prone position on our mat. Um, and we'll just start by bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the elbows in nice and close to you. Walk your feet out so they're about mat's distance apart. Okay, from here, we'll take an exhale. I want you to push into your hands. You'll start to lift your chest so you come up off of the mat, pointing your gaze just slightly forward, but still down. Well, inhale here, take it right back down to your mat. We'll take a couple more like this, being mindful that as we lift the upper body, we're keeping the tops of the feet and the pubic bone pressing down into the mat. So we'll feel a little bit of work happening through um, either side of our spine, the muscles that surround the spine, which is good. We wanna strengthen those muscles. We'll do three more just like this. This is gonna be two. And then this will be our last one. Good, once you've taken that last one, we'll bring the upper body all the way down. I want you to take your hands in front of you. We'll stack the hands one on top of each other. And now we'll do kind of that same movement idea now through the legs. 
So I want you to rest your forehead down on your hands, right? So they're serving as a pillow. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. No need to stress, it's just Pilates. We'll take an exhale here. I want you to push into your pubic bone. That's gonna be your anchor point. We'll lift the legs so they come up off of the mat, and then we'll inhale, drop the legs so they come right back down. Exhale, we'll lift. Inhale, we'll lower, taking some nice deep breaths. Lift, and we'll lower. We'll lift, and we'll lower. Now, in a perfect world, I would love it if your legs could move at the same pace, but it is difficult to see if they're moving at the same pace when we can't see them like this. So just, you know, trust your body, see how things are feeling, see if maybe you feel like you're rolling over onto one side, or maybe you're pressing more into the front of one hip than the other. See if you can even things out just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want you to try your best. Three more, three. This is gonna be two. And last one. Good, we'll take everything down and then I want you to bring your hands underneath your shoulders. We're gonna press up through to a child's pose. Hips go back to the heels, arms reach long in front of you. Press down into your mat so you feel a little bit of a stretch right underneath the armpits. Reach your hips back towards your heels. Nice deep breath. And then when you're ready, we'll bring ourselves up. We'll swing on over to the right side of our body. We'll come all the way down and do that same side lying series now on the other side. So right hip comes down. We're gonna come down onto the right arm, bend at the elbow, make a little pillow for your head with your bicep. Stack the hips, stack the knees, stack the feet. Take the left hand, give yourself a little bit of a hug. Make sure there's some space in between you and the mat. So if I could reach my hand through whatever device you're watching this workout on right now, I should be able to stick my fingertips underneath you without having to push you around a whole lot, okay? I'm gonna push you around a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, once you're ready, we'll take the left leg. You're gonna push that left leg so it's down in line with your hip. We'll point the toe and you're gonna inhale, kick your leg to me. You'll exhale, flex your foot. Sweep it back. Inhale, we kick it forward. Exhale, we flex the foot, we sweep it back. We'll keep moving like that and just check in with your body with those first couple of reps. Do you feel like you're rocking around on the mat? If you do, can you try and eliminate that rocking? As you kick forward, do you see your hip is falling all the way forward on your mat or your hips becoming unstacked? Like, this is awesome. If you're this flexible, great. But look at all the stuff that's going crazy on my hip. My body's collapsed down, my top hip has rolled forward. We've gone a little bit too far for doing that. So you really only have to come in line with the hip so you make a 90 degree bend at the hip and then um, down beneath the hip. Okay, we'll do three more like this. Three. This is gonna be two. And this will be our last one. Once your leg comes back in line with your hip, you're gonna flex your foot and we'll take our lift and lower from right there. Exhaling to lift, inhaling to lower. Now we're getting into this side, I'm like, oh, did we do the lift and lower first? Did we do the donkey kick first? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. I'll admit, there's not a method to my madness here, right? We just want to do all of these exercises. Good. We're just going to do four more. Four. This is three. This will be two. And last one. Keep the knee in line, or the leg in line with the hip. Keep your foot flexed. We'll inhale, bend the knee. Take the knee so it comes right in line with your hip. Maybe even a little bit further forward, but not so far forward that we dump down into the mat. Exhale, you'll extend the knee, push your foot out. Remember, we're thinking about sliding a piece of furniture across the ground just by using the power of our heel, which, you know, sounds like it would be no big deal, but, you know, if you've ever had a heavy couch, you know it's it's a challenge. It's definitely a challenge. Okay, checking with the right side of your body. Have you collapsed all the way down into the mat? Do you feel your back hip is opening you up? Are you doing your donkey kick like this? I hope not. Sure hope not. We're gonna do four more. Four. This is three. This is two. And last one. Good, we'll bring everything in, drop the top leg down, give your hip a little tap, take a deep breath, and again, from here, we're gonna roll over so that we come face down onto our mat. Your hands are gonna come underneath your shoulders and we're gonna press up to a modified 
plank position. So hands will stay down on your mat, knees are going to stay back. And I want you to um, open your hips and your knees out towards the left side of your mat. So we come onto our right knee, we're gonna stack that left knee right on top. Cross your ankles back behind you. And now from here, when you're ready to move, we're gonna exhale, squeeze the right hip and the rib cage together, push your hips in the direction of your heels. Inhale, we'll pull it forward. We're gonna do six more like that. Six. This is five. This will be four. Three. Two. And last one. Good, we'll come through center and then we'll just switch right over to the other side, coming onto the left knee. We'll open the hips and the knees out towards the right, cross your ankles back behind you. We exhale, squeeze the left hip to the left rib cage. Inhale, we unfold, we let it go. We're just moving the hips in the direction of the heel so you don't have to go all the way back. This one is easy to just like go through the motions and not really feel what should be happening in your body. So I want you to take it really tiny, really small. Think about pulling hip to rib and then inhale coming right back out. I think we did six total on the first side. So we're probably about there. I'm just gonna count three more for you. Three. This is two. And this will be our last one. We'll bring everything in. You can take the knees around through center and just find a child's pose. Hips go back to the heels. Arms reach long in front of you. Take a deep breath. Okay, from here just a little bit more to go. We're gonna do just a little bit of stuff with the upper body so we can make it a nice well-rounded full body workout. We'll come into a tabletop position. Shoulders right over the wrist, hips right over the knees. And what I want you to do here is turn your fingertips in towards each other so that your elbows are gonna track out nice and wide. We'll keep the hips over the knees and from here we'll take somewhat of a push up. I want you to press the tops of your feet down into the mat. Don't let them move as we start to lower down. We'll inhale, bend at the elbows. You'll lower your chest down towards the mat. We'll take an exhale, press away. We're gonna do that six more times. Six. This is five. Four, three, are your hips still over your knees? Good, this is two. And last one, go ahead and press away, hold it right there. I want you to press into the right hand. We're gonna lift the left hand, bend the elbow, hand comes up towards the shoulder, left hand comes down, inhale, we bend the right elbow, bring it down. We'll do that six more times each side. Six and six, are your hips still over your knees? five and five are your feet pressing down to the mat four and four this is three three this will be two and two and these are our last ones one and one, good. With that last one, you can turn the fingertips back forward, press the hips to the heels. Again, big child's pose. You can press a little bit into your mat just so we get a little bit of traction, feel a little release um, through the armpits, through your lats. Good, we're gonna come back up into that tabletop position. One more thing to do right here. I want you to tuck your toes under. We'll take knees off from here. I want you to take a really big exhale. We're gonna draw the belly button in. You lift the knees off of your mat. Inhale, we tap the knees right back down. We'll do six more of that. Six. This will be five. We'll go for four. Three. Two. And last one, drop the knees down, untuck the toes, press the hips back, reach the arms nice and long in front of you. We'll take a big breath right here. And then inhale, we'll walk both of our hands over towards the right, finding some length in the, in the um, left side of your body. It's gonna say the back side of your body, but that's not what I meant. We'll take a breath right here. We'll walk through center. And then take both hands over to the left side of your mat, finding length now in the right side, reaching the hips to the heels. Nice deep breath right here. 
and then when you're ready, walk those hands through center. You'll start to press yourself up so you come into a seated position. Once you get up there, you can take a big roll of the shoulders backwards, sit up nice and tall, and I'm gonna link a little bit of a longer cool down up in the cards if you wanna go ahead and do that. But other than that, you guys made it through our first beginner workout of the week. Remember, you're awesome, you can do anything you put your mind to, and I'll see you guys in our next video. I just can't resist you. You got me thinking like